With all the innovations in the world, from flip phones to smartphones, black and white TV to HD TV, why hasn't underwear changed? We like to say that we spend more time thinking about men's balls than everyone apart from the man himself. That's how we develop great underwear. We're just Tommy John. We're just a men's underwear company. <laughs> I mean, how seriously can you take men's underwear? In 2007, 2008, I was selling medical devices, wearing a suit and tie, and as I was darting my dress shirts and buying fitted suits, I couldn't figure out why all the undershirts on the market were designed to be form-fitting for a UPS box. And I was like, maybe you just need like an extra tall, and he's like, no, that's not going to work. And I thought, what if someone made an undershirt that was longer, it was tapered, and I couldn't find one on the market. He comes home with bags full from Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom's, Macy's, just shopping bags full of undershirts. And I'm just looking at him going, oh my gosh, he's really serious about this. With the help of my wife, we went up to the garment district in downtown Los Angeles, bought some fabric. She helped me draw a sketch with my second grade art skills, took it into a dry cleaners, said, can you sew some prototypes of a shirt that's longer and it's tapered? Made some samples, tried on the shirt, and thought, wow, I solved my problem. I wonder if my other friends who wear undershirts have the same problem too. That was kind of the early days. It was very, very scrappy. We'd literally pull out the ironing board to ship product. I remember one of the first meetings that we had in their house. It was only Aaron and Tom at the time. We could not even get our chairs side by side in the room that we were looking over the financial information on. Marketing, design, sales, accounting, operations was all in like a 200 square foot area. <laughs> it was, we're working all day, all night, and yet we have no idea whether this thing is gonna make it. At the heart of Tommy John is the fact that it's a problem solution brand. We want to make men's lives easier. We want them to be comfortable. Male adjustment is actually an epidemic, and it's something that we, Tommy John, want to solve man by man. We talk about the three Fs, fabric, fit, and function, and delivering the consumer a better product that provides a higher level of comfort than what he can find anywhere else. I remember putting on my Tommy John underwear for the first time, and it blew me away. It's amazing because you're at a dinner party with middle-aged married men, and all they want to talk about is that underwear. Everything here is so collaborative. I think everyone here has a voice, and everyone definitely knows they have a voice. I don't wake up and dread coming to work. I wake up and say, I've got 10 things I have to do, and I'm actually quite excited about it. I'd say we're humbled every day by the people who show up here and work so hard. Sorry, I get emotional. <laughs> when I walked into these offices in June, and I came off the elevator, I literally almost cried for a second. I mean, the company was hanging sometimes over the first three or four years by a thread. It doesn't even seem real most days. It just kind of takes a moment to step back and realize this is something that we've built. I believe at this point nothing will stop us. I wouldn't be shocked one day if we're, you know, the biggest underwear company on the planet. When the ideas stop, that's when I'll know the end is near, but I don't really see that happening anytime soon.